Splash Damage Studio was formed in 2001 by the creators of high-profile mods such as Quake 3 Fortress, which is basically Team Fortress on a Quake 3 engine. So, as you can see, Splash Damage came up from the mod community. The studio started working with Now TV and Gamer TV, providing both custom maps and an in-game television production solution for Quake 3. You can ask, what the hell is so-called TV production solutions? And you know, back in the days there was no comfortable Twitch, no YouTube Live or something, and basically Splash Damage was creating methods of broadcasting live matches of Quake 3. This was not so easy as you may think, so they did a really great job producing and presenting over 150 different TV shows. Later, in 2001, Splash Damage created several maps for Counter-Strike, Quake 3 and Wolfenstein. And one of these maps was a Market Garden map for Return to Castle Wolfenstein. This map was insanely popular. Actually, it was one of the most successful and most played custom map for the game. And Splash Damage finally got some attention from the big players like Activision and ID Software. And they decided to give this small studio a chance to work on the game. Splash Damage was tasked to create some multiplayer maps for the Game of the Year edition of Wolfenstein. They created three maps. And since I was playing Wolfenstein multiplayer for a really long time, I can tell you, this map was one of my favorites. On tram, for example, you can ride these tram caps, shoot your enemies from above, you know, things like that. They created a lot of unique gameplay situations. So it is not surprise these maps was also well received by the community. After that, Activision continued partnership with Splash Damage. They tasked them and some other studios to develop Wolfenstein Enemy Territory, a standalone expansion for Wolfenstein. This one was going to be a very promising expansion, since it was featuring a completely new single-player campaign with squads of AI, bodies under your control, vehicular action and god know what else. But something goes wrong inside these studios, and later single-player was completely abandoned. All what we got on release was a free multiplayer, developed by Splash Damage. Of course, me, just like everyone else, was kinda disappointed. But let me say, multiplayer part was absolutely amazing. I don't really know who was responsible for abandoned single player, but Splash Damage did a really good job on the enemy territory. Basically, they just took their Return to Castle Wolfenstein formula and greatly improved it. There were only six maps, but each one of them were amazingly well done. They were well designed, balanced and overall fun to play. Wolfenstein Enemy Territory is the first and actually my favorite game from Splash Damage. And back in the days it was insanely popular on public or competitive scene. Later Splash Damage was working on Doom 3 multiplayer maps. Should I tell you anything about Doom 3 multiplayer? Just look at the most fresh Doom 3 BFG edition. It's already dead. Well, it's not actually about maps, it's about technologies, new technologies. I mean, ID Tech 4 engine was kinda innovative for its time. And Splash Damage was actually able to work with it. The next game coming from Splash Damage was an enemy territory Quake Wars, which is basically the attempt a very good attempt to make something new with the Quake franchise. Splash Damage greatly expanded on Wolfenstein mechanics and created Battlefield-like FPS in Quake universe. All maps, or better to be said missions, are awesome. It is like a single-player experience in multiplayer. All battles are concentrated around specific objectives to complete. This is not just flags, bombs and other boring stuff. For example, there is mission called Slipgate, where you must teleport from hot Africa to cold Antarctic. Now this is a creative approach to the multiplayer that provides a unique game experience. Now this game is pretty much dead. And it is a shame. I don't really get it. 
why Activision or Bethesda or whoever just removed the game from the stores, you know, like it never existed. Probably it is just some legal issues between Activision and Bethesda and they doesn't seem to care much about players. And I think Splash Damage would like to support this game, if they only had an opportunity. The next game by Splash Damage was a Brink. What can I say? I was really looking forward to this game. I was hyped because of awesome trailers which showed us unique design of the world. And I knew who was behind this game. I saw a great Wolfenstein successor in a Brink. But the release of the game was a complete disaster. The first thing, it was broken. Netcode, bugs, glitches and other stuff. But that's fixable, alright? That is not fixable, it is a broken core mechanics of the game. The parkour feature was absolutely useless and they promoted it like a main feature of the game. Campaign concept of multiplayer was also broken, because these missions are pretty boring and there is not enough storytelling in my opinion. The game is good in terms of design. This futuristic world of Brink is looking amazing. Also, customization is the most deep mechanic in a game, you can customize pretty much everything. I think Brink was just forced out to be released, I just don't see any other reason for such a great concept ruined by poor execution. Such a waste of opportunity, really. The next big game for special damage was a Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb is a free-to-play FPS focused, just like always, on objective game mode. Basically, it is a Brink done right. It doesn't have that cool design concepts like Brink, but it's working, like it should be. And I think this was a good decision to release game in beta state and involve community into development. For now, there is not much maps, some minor balance issues, but gameplay is satisfying and rewarding. It reminds me of good old Wolfenstein days. This is what I wanted to see in Brink and I just can't wait for the full release version of the game. I just hope they will not ruin it by unfair microtransactions. Splash Damage is a good example of team formed in the mod community. They started from simple Quake 3 mods, was in partnership with such companies as ID Software and now they are creating their own games. And I am really looking forward to their future projects and I hope they will create their own AAA game.